Hello. Oh, Jesus. Welcome back to um, Adreno Nixie Clock for Absolute Beginners. This is Cheddar once again. And we are on step four. Understanding your shift register. If you are unfamiliar with this video series, um, just go ahead and take a step back and look at video one. And it has all the details outlining what this is. And so I'm going to go ahead and jump into it. So, to drive your 74141 IC chips, you're going to need a shift register. These are a common 16 IC pin you'll see used in the Drino. And this is more of just a lesson on these. And you can find lessons on these all over the place. Um, it's a pretty common IC chip. It's essentially used to expand, you know, IO ports or pin sets or the pins on your, your digital pins on your Adreno. You can think of it like a, uh, a, a garden hose manifold or any kind of manifold where, you know, you have like one input and then four outputs where you have, you know, your source of your water coming in the back and then four outputs with on-off nozzles along the way so you can control your water flow. Except in this case, you have eight outputs with three inputs and those three inputs dictate which of those little pins are turned on and off and with that you can control a variety of different things so before we go and jump into how to use this in the schematic let's take a quick look at the breakdown of the chip this is just the pin out of what's on this chip uh, this is a pretty common um, uh, pin out picture you can find on Google if you just do a little Googling. Um, the way an IC pin works, first and foremost, you have to figure out how it's oriented. So you can see here this little half moon crescent. This correlates to the chip right here. There's actually that is actually carved in the chip at the top. You probably can't see it because of my potato quality camera. But that's so you know that the chip is oriented correctly. Um, there's 16 pins on the chip. And you have 1 to 8 on this side and 9 to 16 on this side. And each pin serves a different purpose. So pins 1 to 7 are all outputs. QB to QH it just means output, essentially. Pin 8 to ground, so you'll just ground it. Pin 9 is called QH prime. And this has to do with daisy chaining these, these shift registers. You don't need to worry about that for now. So we're just going to skip over that. You have this SRL, CL, CLR pin. For now, we're just going to run that to 5 volts. You have SR clock. We're going to run that to digital pin 3 on the Adreno. You have R clock, which we're going to run to digital pin 4. We're just pulling this OE pin to ground. You have SER, which pulls. we're going to add to digital pin 2. And QA is actually also an output. QA is output 1 or 0 in programming ideas. And then, I don't know why the first output's on this side. I have to assume that has to do with manufacturability of these. Um, don't question it, just, that's what it is. And then VCC, so that's your 5 volt. So you'll attach this to 5 volt, that to 5 volt, and both those to ground. And essentially what we're going to be doing for this test um, and understanding how this works is we're just going to use each of these to turn an LED on and off. So you'll from each of these pins, you'll have a 220, 120, really a 220 ohm resistor into an LED down to ground. Um, and here's what it looks like when you're all done and the schematic is fritzed. And fritzing is just what they call when you don't have like a full schematic. It's like a picture schematic. It's kind of nice to look at. It's easier on the eyes if you're not real familiar with schematic symbols. So here's your 741, or not your, I'm sorry, your shift register. And it's orientated with that crescent moon on this side. So it's pointing that way. So you can see here, you've got all your pins going out into a resistor that goes to the positive point on an LED and then it goes into the LED then out to ground and then you've got these three wires here going over to the digital pins and then you've got a power bank you know positive and negative with your uh, you know your crossover there and then positive and negative or positive and ground I should say into your Adreno and so we're going to build this then jump in the code and what our final task is going to be is we're going to make each of these lights light up one at a time with a second delay so it's going to go turn on one second delay turn on one second delay etc etc and then it's going to turn on every other led 
for a couple seconds and then turn them off and turn on every other LED. So it'll turn on first, you know, like one, three, five, and seven. Turn those off, then turn on two, four, six, and eight. Um, really simple. There's other, This is actually taken, lifted straight from the Instructable video. I've given the guy who did it props on my on my Instructables blog. But um, anyways, we're going to do that. I'm going to get some code on the screen, and we're going to walk through it. And essentially what's the, the long-term thought process of this of having this idea is essentially to drive your tubes you're gonna instead of having LEDs you're gonna have two 74141 chips on either side and by sending logic from the shift register to those two other ICs you're going to display which digit on the Nixie tube you want to see and then you'll also you know obviously tie that in with the real-time clock so I'm gonna take a second and uh, and build this and then get that old laptop out and uh, take a look at it and I built it so I know I didn't use green LEDs I used all red because I just was lazy so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and try and get some code on screen so that you guys can uh, see how this thing works all right let's try uh, dive into this code real quick here I'm trying to not spend a whole lot of time on this first off you're gonna need to include this shift register library um, if you want the library, you just go to just Google Shift Register uh, 595 Library, find the one on GitHub, download it, and install it in your Arduino libraries. Uh, that's a real simple procedure. If you need to know how to do that, there's a lot of uh, a lot of Google help there. So just take a look at some tutorial to how to add libraries to your Arduino. All right, so jumping into it, include this library. Make sure the library is in your um, libraries folder of your Arduino and your program files. Next you'll use this line of code here. So <clears throat> it's a little bit deceiving with it being on pins 2, 3, and 4. Essentially you're declaring a shift register with this line of code. You're calling that shift register SR1. You're saying you have one shift register and you're saying that your data pin is 2, your clock pin is 3, and your latch pin is 4, which is corresponding to digital pins on your Adreno, so this could be any pin, uh, you know, whatever you wanted them to be. Uh, set up in this case is blank. You could set your baud rate to 9600 if you want, doesn't really matter. Um, so this SR set all high, what you're doing is you're taking that uh, nomenclature SR that you made and you're setting all of them high. And that'll turn on all of your pins, all the LEDs for your pins and then you're going to wait half a second and then you're going to set all of them low at this command and then you're going to wait another half second this right here is a basic for loop so what you're saying is for integer i equal to zero and while i is less than eight you're going to do something and each time you're going to increment i up by one so the first time it runs it'll be i is zero then the next it'll run you know between these two um, they're not parentheses but brackets you know I'll run as zero then it'll run as one then two then three and you're setting that specific you know pin out to high so pin one, zero will be high then pin two will be high then pin three will be high so essentially you know QA high QB high QC high and you'll wait two seconds between each high and after that you'll set all pins at once with this bit of code so you this unit 8t and really set all and this set command all come with that library so <clears throat> what you're doing here is you're using this b 10101010 what you're saying is, is you want to set pin 0 to 1 pin 1 to 0 pin 2 to 1 pin 3 to 0 pin 4 to 1 etc etc and so you can have an array and you know have digital outputs based on that Okay, so apparently I only get like three minutes to record per like video, so whatever. But anyway, like I was saying, you're setting all to this variable called pin values, which you've set up here as an array. So you could pipe anything in here, you know, as an array, and you could have any pin values here, or any, you know, nomenclature. You could declare any kind of variables here and set it, and then we'll delay by 5,000, 5, or 5 seconds, 5,000 milliseconds. And then you're going this right here will uh, read the pin zero base if you essentially to handle like any individual pin 
you'll do it like this. You know, you'll say SR dot set, you know, five or four high. And that would set pin four high. And so pin four is essentially, um, you know, the corresponding pin. So pin zero is QA, pin two, uh, one is QB, pin three is QC, pin four is QD. So if you remember that schematic that I put up earlier, pin four is going to be QD. And you'll set that one single pin to high. So I'm going to uh, upload this code to a board or to the board that I built earlier and we're gonna take a look to see how it looks once it's uh, once it's running alright so here we are uh, out of the code this is the code we just set up and just recorded over here is our functioning LED breadboard and you can see we got it all hooked up to the Arduino here so starting from the beginning of the sketch is about right nah, right now so there's all on for half a second all off for half a second and now it's going to step up through each LED with two second delay between each LED that's the for statement we talked about and then it's going to turn off every other one right there and that's that B1010101 statement right there and it starts to go over again with all of them on for half a second all off half for a second and now it's back to stepping up through them one at a time and this is what your final little proto uh, prototype should look like for testing or figuring out your uh, your shift register